Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you Rock AI app on this review. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers on this video. Let's get started. So, in this case, you might be wondering what is Rock AI app here and how do you use it and what, generally speaking here, what is it? So, Rock AI is basically this smart video tool here that helps you build mobile or web apps just by describing what you want so there's no code here no confusing interfaces you just log in right from the start and it's like hey what kind of app do you want to create and you just type it in here and in this case uh they generate for you so basically it uses the power of AI here to generate the app for you so in this case uh what you need to do is you want to go ahead and go first to their official website here which is rock.com to in order for you to access their platform now, in here, by the way, uh, as you can see, just to give you some idea, so at the very center, this is where you can enter the prompt that you want to, or the app, or how you want to describe the app that you want to generate. But if you go to the left side here, you can basically access your to, uh, sidebar. So let's go and toggle the sidebar here by clicking on this icon. Now, from here, as you can see, uh, we can just basically sign in into our account. Let's go and click on sign in at the bottom, bottom left here, and just click on continue with Google. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to choose our Google account, and once you've chosen that, it's going to click on continue. Now from here, what we need to do next is we want to go ahead and start generating our app. Now again, like what I said before, you just need to basically describe what you want to generate here. Now by the way, it's going to ask you a bunch of things first. So let's go ahead and just choose like, for example, YouTube here. Uh, let's just choose for personal projects, uh, hobbies, personal use. And let's just say that I'm a designer. And let's go ahead and click on what building, uh, what are you building with a rock, a rock here? So let's just use productivity and click on submit. But yeah, so once we've done that, you should see the general UI here. Now, from here, you could do a bunch of things. Now, if you don't know what to generate here, you could actually choose to make a visual novel game here. There are suggestions here that you could use to basically generate your project. So, as an example, let's go ahead and choose this one. So it's going to say, or going to add a automatic prompt for us. So create an immersive, uh, immersive text adventure game with atmospheric images for each uh, scene. So from here, it's going to generate our app here. As you can see, this, this is just a preview by the way. So by the way, it might take a while for them to generate the actual app here. As you can see right now, these are the thoughts on how the app is generated. So these are the core features, the full structure here, and also the game design and game content. Now, from here, if you want to test this on your phone, you can actually scan this QR code and you should be able to see it in your browser, in the browser of your mobile app. Now, in this case, it's going to start loading or start uh, making changes here, generating our app. So again, it might take a while. So in this case, just make sure to uh, wait for it. Now, if you want to view the code, you can go and click on the code option at the very top left here. You can basically see uh, it being generated or your uh, game or your app here being generated for you. So you don't have to worry about anything. And by the way, if, like for example, if you're a developer, you can actually access those different files here. As you can see here, now the colors, model here, all the files that you may need to access or change as a developer. Now, again, it might take a while to generate, but once it's actually done, you should be able to see your app in here. And also at the top right, you could see what is the current, uh, in this case, status of your app. Uh, app here so it currently it's live so if you want to uh, basically refresh this go ahead and click on live here so it's going to say connecting and also you may notice some errors in here so if you do see some errors here you could go ahead and click on send to ai here or click on view all if you want to see them and fix them yourself and if you want to upgrade by the way your uh account you can go ahead and click on upgrade here and you could basically get their plans here which later on we'll be discussing but yeah, so you also have like integrations here. So in this case, the back end for it, environment variables as well, if you want to add those. And yeah, if you want to download the code for it, you can go and click on download here. And also if you want to view this in a different, uh, let's just say a uh, different uh, device or I, uh, OS, you can go and click on Android here to view it in Android. You also have like a Apple in here and also the web version if you want to see that as well. So yeah, so you get, there are different pl platforms here that you could, or in this case, OS that you could get here. Now, as you can see, this is what our app just basically generated for us. So you can just uh, basically just wait for it to finish. I, I know it might take a while, so uh, usually like around 10 minutes or more, depending on what you're requesting here. But uh, yeah. Now, the great thing about this one is you don't need to be a developer to develop your own app here. So it's 
kind of UI itself is kind of similar to ChatGPT. So if you're familiar with using ChatGPT here, it's going to feel kind of similar. And also at the left side here, you have the uh, following option to basically uh, describe uh, the mobile app you want to build as well as you can see right now. You can also change a few things or choose an AI model here. Or if you want to uh, basically upload an image here to base them from, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, yeah. So in this case, uh, that's about it. So either a uh, if you are a developer or either a just a designer that wants to generate their, their app, uh, Rock here is going to be really helpful. Now, again, like what I said, you might notice some errors in here. So you want to go to Code Inspector here, click on Send to Chat to basically uh, allow it to uh, fix that for you. So yeah. So for the plan here, so for the pricing plans here, so currently uh, the they have the Jura plan here, which is the uh, cheapest one, which is twenty dollars per month, and you have like a hundred messages monthly here. And you can export your code, you can private uh private projects here. So if you don't want to make it in public, because if you're going to use the free plan here, every project you generate is going to be uh in public. I also have the middle here, which you get more messages monthly, code export, private pro uh, projects here, chat support as well. I have senior and scale one k. So which in this case is around like hundred dollars and two hundred dollars respectively. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.